welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be talking about Facebook groups for CICs. So I'm going to be encouraging all of you to start a Facebook group for your community interest company. Now Facebook groups are absolutely fantastic way of growing a community online. They are also a fantastic way of delivering activities, reaching people, connecting with people, having peers support each other and they can also be a good way to gain grant funding and grant funders definitely look favourably on Facebook groups. Now not all demographics are on Facebook, younger people aren't. So this will be more for CICs that have the kind of demographics that are on Facebook. So there's lots to be talking about in this video, but before I get into that, please hit the subscribe button for everything to do with community interest companies, grant funding, social enterprises, and everything alongside that. So if you would like to know more as well as this YouTube channel, then do go over to my website, CIC Tribe, and check out our membership, CIC Tribe membership. In our membership, we've got a fantastic community of CICs, We've got lots of experts, we deliver loads of sessions on training and give resources and there's so much to learn over there. So do go over and check that out. Now that aside, let's get into this video. So why am I talking about Facebook groups all of a sudden? So I have noticed that there is an increasingly large amount of CICs coming through that have got fantastic active Facebook groups. I've noticed that grant funders really like it. I've also noticed that they actually have quite a lot of impact, significant impact and their number of people that they're impacting are far higher because they are using a Facebook group. So let's break this down. First of all, let's talk about what the Facebook group is because a lot of people get a bit confused. It's not the same as a Facebook page. So when you join Facebook, you've got your profile as a person. So I've got Kelly Coles and then I've got my Facebook page, which is like your CIC business page. So you start your page and then you have a group. So the group is different. It is a community group. So people can upload photos, videos, they can do a lot more in it. So it's not just about you posting like a page is. This is about a community actually engaging with it. So that's a Facebook group. Now a Facebook group has lots of functions to it. You can put events on there. You can add resources that they can download. You can do lives. So you could like schedule live events, masterclasses, workshops within the Facebook group. Obviously people can message each other and everything else as well. So there's lots of peer stuff. You can also bring in lots of uh, other volunteers that could help you run the group and then they could be admins as well. So that's the Facebook group and that's why it's useful. It wouldn't be useful if you're working with young people because young people aren't on Facebook. So it's more of a demographic that's kind of, I'd say 30 plus. So yeah, so just be aware of that. But a Facebook group is super useful. And I've got some CICs that started as a Facebook group that people have set up a Facebook group. They're doing some kind of topic or they're supporting some kind of cause or group and they are giving out this information, useful information to this group. They're benefiting people's lives. People are coming together on there. It's having loads of impact. They've got specialists coming in giving advice and they're doing workshops and lives on different topics. And it's all free for this community to join. So it's brilliant. And so some I've seen some CICs, they've started there and then they have decided to think, well, I'm doing all this work. Like it's voluntary work, it's community work, but it's online on this Facebook group. I'm doing all this work unpaid. Is there any way I could set up as a CIC and get funding for it? The answer to that is yes, you absolutely can. What I would say is you might want to grow it a bit so it's not just the Facebook group so you're not going to the lottery or whatever with just the Facebook group. I'd expand it a bit. I'd encourage some of the people in the Facebook group to do meetups. I would do some in persons as well maybe every quarter or something but absolutely the Facebook group is certainly enough to be the base and you're going to have fantastic statistics as well because you're going to have so many people in your group. Now one way you can grow your group is through paid ads but also just by engaging on other groups. It's a bit of a chore but it's if you put that groundwork in, it will really benefit. So you go over to other groups and you start to, you know, talk to them about your group and people will naturally come over. Another tip is make sure the Facebook group title isn't your CIC title or your name. So you want the Facebook group title to be about the community, to target and hit home to the community. So say it's parents of SEN children, you would actually put that, so maybe your local area or something, or if it's a national one, they're not, then it would just be UK, parents of SEN children. Then you know that those people, when they search for that, that's what they'll search for, they'll find it, then they'll join. So if you create the name to be who the community is, so it speaks to them. And then after that, you could always put a dash and then you could always put their 
then you'll see I see now. But at least then they'll see that first part, which is talking to them. It's saying, this is for you. So then they know to join. So you always do it as private joining. So people will join and you know, have to let them in. That's something that's a good way to obviously make sure it's not general and open to all. So that is some food for thought. And I would also say, say you're a CIC and you don't have a Facebook group, I would definitely suggest you think of starting one because it's a great way to keep everybody in creating a scene, creating a community that you can continue to invite to your events and publicize your CIC activities to and connect with. So it's just a great free platform to be able to put your community in so that you're able to contact them and work with them all of the time. Even if, you, if you're if you a CIC, maybe you're a few years in, think about starting a Facebook group and growing that community. Honestly, you'll absolutely see massive benefits from it in terms of your impact, your statistics, and what you'll get out of that. So it's a really, really good idea. So I hope that video helped. If you would like uh, some more information on Facebook groups and how to run social medias for CIC, I've got loads of information over in the CIC Tribe membership. So do go over links in the description to that. Hope that was helpful.